Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to say I appreciate everyone that has been subscribing in the past month or so. I really appreciate you and it means a lot to me. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I know it's not a lot. Listen, I know it's not a lot, for some, but I appreciate the people that are here already. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys. So I'm feeling good back into doing tutorials and don't worry throwback thursdays is coming back this thursday um i just haven't been feeling it feeling doing tutorials back to back like i was when we were in quarantine and i'm back at work now so that has just been slowing stuff down a lot here but i'm back i'm excited i'm feeling really really good mentally in a good space i'm happy so this is a series that i started like two years ago and um I'm probably, I'm just going to tell you guys what it is because it just didn't look, I was surprised that the, the videos that I did before, they just didn't look good to me when I watched them now. Like, I don't know what I was doing, but it looks a mess. So I just want to continue doing that series because, you know, something I actually enjoy doing. So I'm going to leave a timestamp on when the tutorial actually starts. In the description box below or you got yeah once you see the number you can just click on it it'll go right there but in case you don't feel like going to see the very first video of this series i'm just going to explain briefly it's um comic book characters and it's like more comic book heroes i'm probably going to start adding some villains in here and i have them written down in my little cup well not in the paper on paper in my little cup so I'm always gonna just at the beginning of every video I'm going to pick them randomly I'm gonna open one so let's actually do that right now and I'll know what I pick and then oh okay so I picked Misty Knight you I don't know why I always hold this paper up you can't actually see it you can't. but basically Misty Knight I'm going to like the makeup is going to be very glam. Sometimes it's going to be out there. It probably won't be wearable for a lot of people, but it's still going to be fun. The basic idea is I'm going to do makeup surrounded by the colors of her, um, her most popular like outfit. So she has a lot of reds and blacks in there and some maybe silver that I can remember the top of my head. And um, if I have a wig to go along with it, I'll probably pop it on my head once I'm done with the look. To tie together so that's basically it and a lot of it will always probably look good as far as color combination goes because in comic books the penciler and illustrator or the colorist should i say the colorist they always um kind of go with like color theory it's always complementary colors and i feel like i've explained basic the basics of this video I feel like I've done that. Um, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with my brows and I probably need a closer mirror. Um, so as I'm doing my makeup, whatever I use, I just wanna let y'all know it's going to be down in the description box. And I'm gonna be talking Mostly, like, you know, giving y'all a little history lesson. Is that what I want to call it? I don't know. But we're going to talk about Misty. So, Misty is from Marvel Comics. And she is, how do I, she's 5'9". She has black hair, black afro hair. Um... And she has brown eyes. She was created by Arvel Jones and Tony Isabella. I don't remember like the first issue that she was on. Honestly, I didn't even bother looking it up. But y'all, y'all know. And I'm gonna be going off of like the comic books. I'm not gonna be going off of like the show. Um, if you've seen Luke Cage, you know who Misty Knight is. So I'm gonna stick to every time I do one of these I'm gonna stick to um, comic books unless like the movie has like a huge impact on the story that I'm telling um, it's gonna be straight from the comic books and because a lot of 
the people that are included in here you probably have only seen a couple of them in shows and movies i i'm sure eventually i'm gonna do here and there some mainstream popular character but i'm mostly probably gonna focus on people that you probably have heard their names but they're not super popular because i don't want to talk about people that have been talked about over and over and over and over and over again like if I ever do Wonder Woman I'll be talking about Nubia really not Diana so and Nubia is her sister anyway I'm getting carried away so Misty her real name is Mercedes Knight she just prefers to be called Misty she can't be bothered okay See, I already like the way this brow is looking and this brow is going to annoy me. A little tip, and I always do this on clients, but I never do this on myself. When you are doing makeup, whatever takes you the longest is what you should do first. And whatever your dominant side is, is the part you should do first. So if you feel like everything takes you an equal amount of time, whatever so for me I should have started off on my on this brow because I'm right-handed doing makeup or not doing makeup just like my brows while talking I didn't realize it would be a task but it was so Anyways, let's continue. So Misty is an amazing cop. Um, she's an amazing detective. And she graduated the, um, the police academy, like, like with one of the, I don't want to say highest ranking, but she was really, really amazing. And she had like, um, is it test scores? She basically graduated the police training with flying colors. So, you know, she was she had a great partner. They worked well together. And um, she met and rescued Colleen Wing. And, like, Colleen was, like, in a gunfight. And... Misty rescued her basically and eventually they like became amazing best friends and Colleen is a trained and excellent samurai so there's that if you guys have seen the show you know exactly who I'm talking about but they ended up becoming um, really, really amazing good friends. Well, they became best friends. And in one of her missions or one of her jobs, Misty tried and she successfully um, disarmed a bomb. Well, she didn't disarm it. She rescued the people, but the bomb disarmed in her right arm. That's how she was... Not that's how she was able. <laughs> that's how she lost her right arm. And then Tony Stark gave her a new um he gave her a new bionic arm, which is like in comic books, um it's pretty accurate in whatever comic books she's in, but it's said that the arm that he gave her, it's a gold arm. Earlier I mentioned that she had black red and silver but it's black red and gold not silver okay um so he gave her a new arm i'm done with my brows here and the arm is said to be like 75 times stronger than the human arm so it's really really strong but after this happened to misty um the academy you know, they still respect her and stuff like that, but they wanted to give her a desk job. And Misty was like, no, no, no. <laughs> a desk job is for the birds. Because she just felt like she could do much more. 
on the streets of Harlem and giving her this job is not going to let her do that. So she wasn't with it and she was really, she was upset about it. Um, during that time, she'd be like a rebel <laughs> and she just, she just did not want to do a disc job. Misty said, if it's not active duty, I want no parts. She wants no parts. So she left and then she started, her and Colleen started um, their own private investigating firm called Nightwing. And Nightwing is both Colleen and Misty's last name. What am I looking for? Um, because, you know, Misty Knight and Colleen Wing. So, Nightwing. <laughs> oh. But basically, it was called Nightwing Restorations. And like I said, it was both their last names combined together. And it was basically a firm of them just taking on jobs that other people didn't want to take on, that other people, like, refused. And, um they were doing it but like a lot of people i think because you know nightwing already exists in dc no one really calls them like like i'm talking about us as readers we don't really like call them nightwing they're mostly known as daughters of the dragon and um i remember i think i started reading this i don't know i just saw her and i i just read it i think i was in eighth or seventh grade when i initially first read this Hmm. So, first I gotta like be careful about this black. <laughs> I don't want it to like go everywhere. I should have used a stiffer brush. Anyway, so, um, some time passed, you know, her and Colleen, they would take on jobs, and then she met. Danny Rand, a.k.a. Iron Fist, through Colleen, and they started dating. And their relationship, i say, was pretty serious. It was pretty serious. He really cared about her. They really cared about each other. So, my nose is peeling. What is happening? Um, during the events of Civil War, Misty... She was on the, she was on Tony's side. And honestly, it's not surprising because I mean, he gave her a new arm. And then, you know, I don't want to say they become close, but they were, they were cool. They were close friends. You know, all these heroes, especially like the ones that are based in New York, they're all like friends with each other. Oh my God, my nose is really peeling. They're all like really close friends with each other, so they all know each other. They're all usually on the same team, except from like Tony. Tony, you know, we all know he's a rich, pompous asshole. So. But they're friends, is the point I'm trying to make. They are friends. So during Civil War, she was, I mean, if you've seen the Civil War movie, you know what I'm talking about. If you've read, the Civil War comic books, you also know what I'm talking about. But um, she basically was on the side of Tony. She didn't take Cap's side. And she was helping the government hunt down the superheroes that were on the other side. And for those people that were doing that, the people that were on her team, um, they were part of the Heroes for Hire. And I would say, like, Heroes for Hire, it was so many people going in and out of that group. It was, depending on what comic book you read, it would be different people for Heroes for Hire. Um, I know on the show, we saw the Defenders, but it was at one point, I believe, in the comic books, the people that were... Um, in the Defenders, there were also some Hero for Hire. 
But anyway, the on her team for Heroes for Hire are Colleen, obviously, because that's her bestie, um, Black Cat, and Shang-Chi, which I can't wait for that movie. Listen, 2020 has robbed us from a lot of things, okay? Nope, too big. I need a tiny blending brush. It has robbed us of so many things. Like, I just can't wait to see that movie. So, for a little while, Misty was roommates with, um, what's this girl name? I don't like her. <laughs> She's annoying. And I think she's so weak. Um, dang, what is that girl name? Jean Grey. She, were, she was roommates with Jean Grey for a while until Jean Grey decided to um, go back to the X-Men, like to rejoin the X-Men right before, I'll say right before um, the Phoenix saga happened. So they were cool. Like I said, all these people, especially if they're like, New York superheroes, which a lot of Marvel characters kind of are. Ooh. A lot of them, they're all intertwined and they all kind of like know each other. Kind of. Not even kind of, just most of the time. They all know each other. So her and Jean, they were roommates for a long time and... They got along fine, <laughs> I'll say. So going back to her relationship with Danny, um, there was one time that she thought she was pregnant with his kid. And it just, um, eventually she found out that she wasn't pregnant. It was just like one of his life forces that was like inside of her, which is really weird. If, <clears throat> like, I don't want to keep, like, derailing and talking about other heroes, but, like I said, because they all intertwine with each other, um, people are going to get brought up. And because, you know, he's her boyfriend. So, if you don't know about Danny Rand, a.k.a. Iron Fist, he is, like, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. But the life, he has life forces that were like swimming and misty I don't know if I like this so she wasn't pregnant she thought she was pregnant but it was Danny's um, life forces swimming all up in her um, but they were still after she found out that she wasn't really pregnant their relationship was still fine. Um, they didn't live together. They lived um, separately, but their relationship was still nice and it was thriving. They were fine. You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if in Shang-Chi, cause he's like the master of Kung Fu in this universe. I'm wondering if they're gonna like you know, movies always deviate from the actual comic books. I'm trying to find something. So I'm just going to keep talking to y'all through this until I find what I'm looking for. Because I don't know what I'm looking for right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they introduced Colleen um, to be like a love interest. I would not be surprised at all if it doesn't happen it won't happen but if they bring that in as happening as happening it's not something that would surprise me at all so going back to like civil war times captain captain <laughs> Captain America surrenders. After he surrenders, um, 
Well, yeah, around the time after he surrenders, the heroes for hire, they were like in Savage Land, just like doing, I would say doing little adventures here and there. And they were like capturing a black market. Is it, would I call it a scheme? But it was just like a black market of people selling um, scrolls, organs, scrolls, organs. Like what? <laughs> yeah, just out here selling organs. But um, they were selling scroll organs. So they were able to like, you know, arrest and basically punish those people that were doing that. So for the most part, Misty was in her eyes, always doing something that was noble and good, even though you should be on Cap's side. But <laughs> that's just me being biased. I think they were both wrong. So eventually, though, they disbanded. There was no longer, I mean, not no longer, but for the time being, there was no um, Heroes for Hire <clears throat> because they got captured by... The event called World War Hulk. And one of their teammates that they let in the group was the one that betrayed them. They allowed them to get caught. So Misty was not happy about that. She was ready to fuck shit up. Okay? She was ready to fuck shit up. Okay, so before I move on to my next eye, I'm just going to continue. So when they um, find out that this is happening they got well they got back to new york the heroes for hire they got back to new york and saw that hawk is basically taking over new york city and that you know one of their team members betrayed them and um colleen was captured by them she was captured and tortured and misty was not happy about that so it really traumatized Colleen and she left the group because, you know, her girl couldn't handle it and, you know, who's to blame her? Um, she was really, 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 like, really tortured and, you know, that caused some mental and emotional scarring. So Colleen left. So in this little while, um, not Colleen, what's her name? Misty also becomes, you know, depressed because she was doing something that she loved with her best friend. <clears throat> and it just, it wasn't happening for them. It wasn't. And once Colleen left, Misty got depressed. But not too long after, Iron Man approached her to help him, you know, dismantle or help him take down the Hulk with everything that he's doing in New York City. So she helps and, um, you know, this is what makes Misty happy. So once she helps and they were able to succeed, she is back to her normal state and she's just like happy. She's no longer depressed. And she's able to just like, I'll say move on. So briefly after this happens, um, Misty, Colleen, Luke Cage, and I think maybe Danny. Is it, da was it Danny? Yeah, Iron Fist, AKA Iron Fist and Shang-Chi. They all got together to fight, what's this man's name? To fight, um, I keep drawing a blank on his name, to fight Daredevil, cause um, Daredevil, for a little while there, he took over and was running Hell's Kitchen. So basically he became one of the bad guys. And they fought against him, cause I think at this point he was kind of like working for the hand. And like, why, sir, why? Why are you playing games? 
But anyway, um, they were all able to, I mean, they all fought him because he fought them. And Daredevil is an amazing fighter. Um, and he has like amazing senses. He's just a great fighter. And dare I say a great martial artist. But when you're going against the master of Kung Fu and another trained martial artist, you almost don't stand a chance when it's like four or five of them against you. So he basically loses. Okay, so my eyes is done. I don't think it's even, but I'm gonna move on because if I mess with it some more, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess. So let me put some eye cream under my eye because it's a little dry over there. So before I move on, I want you guys to let me know what you're reading. Doesn't have to be comic books. <laughs> it can be anything. Let me know what you're reading. Currently I'm on the I'm just about to start the fourth book of Dune. It's so good. Frank Herbert was like way, 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 way ahead of his time because what? I can't wait to see when the movie comes out. I'm really, really excited for that. And I think Timothy Chalamet is going to be an amazing Paul Atreides. That cat, the whole entire cast looks really good. But let me know what you're reading and throw some name at me, some names at me that I can add in my little paper of heroes. You could, you could add villains in there too because I think I'm just going to do comic book characters. It doesn't have to be heroes um, anymore. We'll do, we'll do them all. So I don't really have too, too, too much to say anymore besides like telling y'all her abilities and stuff like that. And if you like this video, you know, if you're feeling how this video is going, let me know. I'm out of this. <laughs> I'll tell you very sad. Um, if you guys like the way this is going, not the way this is going, what am I trying to say? If you guys like this idea, this concept, let me know. I can, I mean, I'm still going to continue doing it because it's something I've wanted to do for a really long time. Oh, I should have shaken this up. It's something I wanted to do for a very long time and I just... I put it off and the other day, I actually, I think I dreamt about it. <laughs> I was like, why did I stop doing this? I had a dream about it. Well, this is a lot. Don't do this at home, kids. This is a lot. You don't need this. But also sometimes I don't mind making my highlight and my whole entire makeup exaggerated because I'm on camera. I'm doing makeup for the real world. I'm not doing all this extra stuff. Unless I want to be extra. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. I think I just made a huge mistake. This is number one. Because what? This is way too light. What was I thinking? Oh, crazy. But I'm going to make it work. What was I thinking? Now that I have rectified that, child, that was a whole ass mess. What? What was I going through? What was that? What was that? I'm just gonna go back in and touch up wherever I feel like my concealer or foundation took away. Yeah, I don't even think this is even, but like I said, I'm going to leave it alone because if I don't, I'm going to upset myself. No one but myself is who's going to get upset here. So, Misty's abilities. 
Um, I already mentioned earlier that her arm that Tony gave her, her bionic arm, the right one, that Tony gave her is like supposed to be 75% more stronger or stronger than the human arm. And she's also skilled in um, martial arts. I mean, if your boyfriend is Iron Fist, I would hope so. Um, and your friends with like Shang Chi. I just your best friend is also Colleen Wing. It's, I mean, like it's right that she would be skilled in these things. She's also amazing with um, hand-to-hand -hand combat, like especially during her training at the police academy. I'm using the wrong brush for this. It doesn't matter. I don't know if it's because of her bionic arm, but she is his. Wow. She is known to have almost perfect, if not perfect aim when operating firearms. And she just, she's, she's strong, especially because um, of her right arm, the bionic one, and she's pretty smart. She's, um, an intelligent and an amazing, um, detective. She's really, really good at her job. She cares about people. She wants to make a difference. Sorry about the noise. So sorry. So sorry. But yeah, she wants to make a difference. And obviously her and Colleen, they're still best friends just because they're not in the same, um, they're still both like daughters of the dragon, but they're not in heroes for hire together anymore, I believe, but they're both still doing their own things. Her newer, um, I would say her most newest bionic arm is like a how do I want to call it? It's like an alloy of, and what, I forget what it's, it's called. But it's an alloy of some form of vibranium. And if she's like at close, close range with someone that um, has metal armor, she's able to like melt it. Um, she can even melt it. Um, adamantium so if she were to fight what's this man's name I forget if she were to fight Wolverine I think that would be a good fight she would be able like if he if she, if he brought out his claws to fight her um, I don't know if she would win but she stands a strong chance Should I do lashes? Lashes or no lashes? Lashes or no lashes? So for our gold color, because of her armor, I'm not gonna attempt to talk while I do this. Y'all may not even, let me move my mirror super close to me. Wish me luck. I hope I don't tear up. So, our girl, Misty, is awesome. She's amazing. And I think that is it for the main story. 
I mean, there's just so many. Y'all know, if you read comic books, you know there's always so many um, versions. She was in the timeline at one point of House of M. If you know what that is about, I, I think she didn't have a bionic arm. She just lost her arm in that alternate universe that um, Scarlet Witch created. That that girl, she's going through it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video because I'm going to keep making them. I actually had fun doing this. I did. I did. I had a lot of fun. I hope you had some fun too. Even though, I don't know how we ended up with my eye looking like this. It was fine before. It's gonna drive me crazy. It, it, was, it was good before. And now, let's add this bright red cheek. So this is kind of, not kind of, this is the finished look. I'm actually excited, I like it. And um, I don't know, my eyes is giving me a little pearl. But I hope you guys enjoy this and I will catch you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe.